welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. <laughs> Today's book, we are reading a SCP-049X Reader, Band-Aid Kisses. <laughs> let's, get, let, let's get started. <clears throat> Ow, shit. Outside of his room, outside of his room door, 049 heard uh, your name call out. Uh, that she sounded as if she sh she were in pain. So, being a doctor, he put down his book and went to investigate. He opened the door and spotted your name, uh, her, your name, her hand her hand clenched in a fist, holding it to her mouth. Are you all right? The play doctor inquired. I heard you yell. Uh, the hair. The hair-colored girl. Wait. Your favorite colored hair. Your hair-colored girl. Wait, what? The ha the hair-colored girl. Wait, the hair-colored-haired girl shook her head and took her fist away from her mouth. I smashed my finger, trying to shut the door. She said, slash whined. The old doctor sighed in at uh, asper expir expiration. Aspiration. Uh, your name. Your name was a kind and smart female, but she was a clumsy one, to say the least. Almost daily, she would either bump, bruise, bang, or smash some part of her body uh, against something in her home. Your name walked down the hallway to the bathroom, and he followed, making sure she didn't hurt herself any further, really. She came out with a small paper slip, and he watched her as he watched her as she opened it curiously. What is that there? he asked. A band-aid, she said, uh, before, tearing it op before tearing open the paper. The small uh, adhesive strip fell to the floor. He bent down and picked it up, examining it. Strange. How does it work? You just take the paper off the bottom ends and it sticks to your skin after that, she explained, uh, cradling her injured finger. Ophronine took the paper off and stuck it to one of his fingers. He looked at her. May I? he asked. Your name thought for a moment about this. She knew his touch was deadly. I will be careful not to touch your skin, mind you. Ophronine was quick to catch her air of caution. She smiled at the medieval doctor, so polite. She couldn't help think, she couldn't help think, blushing a bit, uh, tr uh, trusting his careful hands as she extended her finger. He wrapped it around her finger and quickly pulled his hand away. There. Uh, as your name uh, bent her finger to test it, it still hurt and it showed in her face. Are you still in pain? He asked her, drawing her eyes back to the concern to his concerned ones. A little, she said, and then and then she remembered something at that moment, something she would always, something she would always see her parents doing to the little kids when they covered up their boo boos with band aids. That's perfect. She smiled to herself. You know, she began, uh, perking up a little bit. My mother always told me that, um, and that the sure fire, fire way to make something like this feel better. Ophronine's interest was piqued at this. He learned in. He leaned in, he leaned in a bit, <laughs> attentive, is to. He stared her. <laughs> um, he he started her, uh, answer. Her answer for her for her uh was this what was this that could what was this that could possibly outdo his cure for any uh uh alien alienment to kiss it better he went silent she watched his eyes narrow through the holes in his mask head tilt to the side in confusion pardon the tall, 
tall slash short girl giggled slightly and and said once more, to take a to make little bumps and bruises like this one feel better. The way to do it is to give it a kiss. The doctor's eyes went a bit wide in realization. He, he looked over his shoulder as if looking for someone else to do it. Are you completely sure? O for nine looked back to your name and asked, worried, uh, uh, worry, uh, laced his voice. As she held out her hand again, smiling sweetly, I trust you, please? He squeezed his eyes shut and sighed. In all my years, he thought, shaking his head. Still keeping his face out of sight, he leaned down to her hand and lifted up his mask, making sure not to touch her skin. He teached, he kissed the adhesive cover, covered finger. Is your name had to bite her lip to keep, keep from squealing like a, keep from, keep from squealing like a twelve-year-old. If she's finally gotten a kiss from him, given it wasn't a really for. It wasn't a really for real kiss. It was better than nothing. He straightened back up and adjusted his mask. Now does it feel better? Is um, <laughs> is uh, is she uh, uh re recomposed herself and said, uh, trying to keep this scree- screeching fan girl from from re- rearing its ugly head and smiled, very much so. Good. He sounded relieved, uh, uh, seeing that she was finally better. He nodded to her and went off, back to his room. He was still, uh, uh, co- <laughs> he was still thinking, <laughs> um, contemplating, uh, as how that was better than his cure. His your name went off and buried, buried her face in a pillow, sledding the fangirl out of its cage. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was funny. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day.